Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd make a tier list. Yeah, 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 I know. Everybody does a tier list. I, but but listen, I have a reason. Okay, I think, I think it's a pretty good reason. So this tier list is going to be about shonen anime. Which I think is a good way for like people to know what I've seen, what I think about stuff, and what I haven't seen in like a quick, fun little way. If you haven't seen a tier list... You've seen a tier list. Listen, I'm not going to go in to explain it, so let's just hop into it. So I have S through F. S, top tier. F, you know, bottom tier. And then haven't seen. Pretty simple, honestly. Like, it's yeah, S through F. I don't... Let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and get through the stuff I haven't seen. And uh, I'm just going to warn you, you're going to be mad at me. Just please, just please don't hate me. Please. Okay, Sword Art Online. <laughs> Haven't seen. All right, you've gotten through it. All right, Seven Deadly Sins. Have not seen. All right, you're still with me. Fairy Tale. Haven't seen. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Remember, remember, I do, I do a lot of One Piece stuff. Where we, you know, we're together. With we, we enjoy talking with each. Just remember this for the last two that I just saw that I'm gonna have to put on there. Just remember the good times we've had. <gasps> oh. One punch, one punch man. One punch man. I haven't seen. I'm sorry, I haven't seen. Attack on Titan. I haven't seen. Are you still here? Have you have you clicked off the video? Please come back. I mean, you can't hear me because you clicked off the video, but I'm sorry. I promise I'll get around to it. In all seriousness, absolutely. I have One Punch Man and Attack on Titan are definitely on like the top of the list for me to see. The rest. I know they have like big fan bases, so I'm I'm sure they're fantastic. Um, but yeah, so let's get to the others that I have seen. Okay, where are we starting? Where are we starting? You know, this is, I think this is a good one to start with. Real account. <sighs> I used to recommend this manga in like the earlier videos that I did, but it's turned into something real etchy <laughs> is the best way to put it. Dude, it had so much promise. Like it really did. And I'm going to keep kind of reading it, I think. But at, a, at one point, I would have put it in like low A be like somewhere in that general direction honestly it's a it's a c it's a c tier for like death game death battle manga it just it's for me what i came to it for it didn't keep down the path you know what i mean like it it, it diverged and, and tried to do other things which maybe some people out there are like dude i didn't like real account until it got to like volume 10 which is awesome. It's not why I started reading it. I didn't drop it completely, but it's definitely, I used to like devour those volumes. They came in, they were completed. So yeah. We're going to start right in the middle, dude. C tier, real, real account, C tier. <sighs> easy, easy. Another one. Okay, this is a good one. Fist of the North Star. I have read the first volume of the hardcovers they've been putting out. <sighs> I think the art style is great. And I think that if you're looking for shonen, which is kind of what this tier list is, is like shonen anime. I mean, I, it, listen, point blanket statement. It's going to be manga and anime. So. But based on the manga, it's like the godfather of shonen. Like it, it, it's almost like S tier because of what it represents for shonen manga in general. I'm not going to put it in S tier, but but I could listen to that conversation. You know what I mean? Uh, I would I would do B B tier for me. Like it's it's good and it created it almost created the genre. So low A maybe? Low A? 
I'm high B. High B. That's what I'm gonna do. High B. I feel good about that. You gotta respect your elders, you know? <laughs> um assassination classroom. Okay. I really love assassination classroom. I think the characters are great. I think Kuroso Sensei is one of the best. If we were doing top shonen characters, he would be S tier. The manga as a whole, A tier. Right, right, easy A tier, right? Easy A tier for me. Uh, easy A tier. Assassination Classroom, easy. Easy A tier. Yu Yu Hakusho. That's S tier. I don't even have to think about it. Dark Tournament Saga. Yu Yu Hakusho is S tier. A thousand percent. I am not really strong on my opinions. I'm strong on that opinion. I think if we're talking shonen anime, which in turn, depending on the shonen, but most shonens have like tournament arcs. You make a list of top tournament arcs. Dark Tournament is number one every time. For me. And it should be. Like, I just feel like that's facts. Characters are great. The world that Yu Yu Hakusho builds. The action that it does. I just think we talk about Yu Yu Hakusho. And we talk about early 2000s anime. Shonen anime specifically. You don't have a better one. Right? Am I talking out my ass? Like, <laughs> uh... I just think for me, it's my childhood. It's one of the only animes that I watched growing up, that and Dragon Ball Z. So, yes, I probably do have nostalgia glasses, and I bet if I rewatched it, I'd be like, I don't, know, I don't know, it's a little rough around the edges. But in my memory, I was never more hyped than when I was watching Yu Yu Hawk show as a child. So, S tier, easy for me. But speaking of childhoods, Dragon Ball Z. If you talked to 12-year-old me, S plus tier. Goku, Vegeta, you know, Super Saiyan, Frieza Cell, like all that. Oh, S plus tier is what he would put it in. But as a mature adult, you know, as a, as a person that's grown from myself. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Um, oh, B? B tier. I feel like there's half of the people are like, you've put it too high, and then the other half are like, I have clicked off this video, so we're not worried about that half because they're super. Listen, listen. I love Dragon Ball Z too. I'm wearing a Goku T-shirt. Listen, I I get it, <laughs> man. There's a reason that they did Dragon Ball Kai. There's a reason that Dragon Ball Z is mean to death about its yelling and screaming and powering up for episodes upon episodes upon episodes. Go back and watch Dragon Ball Z. And you'll understand, like, yes, Goku's awesome, Vegeta's awesome, the fights are awesome. The 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 power fantasy is awesome of Dragon Ball Z. I, absolutely. But the anime itself... Not the manga. I think the manga actually has great pace and Piccolo is more of a savage, which he should have been in the show as well. Go back and watch it. And I just don't think that you'll you'll think it's S tier. But maybe I'm wrong. You know, we, everybody has different tastes. For me, like a low B. <laughs> a low B. <laughs> don't hate me, please. Remember all the good times that you've had watching my videos please <laughs> oh no all right so what's the next one what's the next one we want to do shaman king that's a good one i think shaman king 
is a B tier. I think that if you haven't checked out the omnibus they're doing, they're actually a really great way to collect all the manga and read all the manga without, you know, mortgaging your house. I haven't checked out the new anime that they put out, but manga wise, I think it holds up. I think it definitely has that 90s, 2000s vibe to it, but I still think the story is really cool. And I think that him getting spirits and collecting it's Pokemon with collecting spirits. <laughs> like that's really what it is. And, uh, it's really cool. I, I just really enjoy it. I think it, I think it's a solid B tier. So much so that I would actually do this. Actually, I would probably, I'd, 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 probably, I'd probably do that as well. But yeah, so Shaman King, Dragon Ball B tier for sure. I I think. It's it's more of a, a comedy than an... It's like an action comedy. I've watched all the anime, read all the manga. Like, I think... And especially, like, the later stuff, when they start getting into the Tenkaichi tournament and things like that, I think... Uh, it's it's good. I I, I actually... No. I, mean, I, like, I like Dragon Ball Z better because it's power fantasy. But Dragon Ball is still solid. Dragon Ball Super, on the other hand, the more... Okay, the more I think about Dragon Ball Super, I want to do this. I'm not going to because the, I think the Tournament of Power is is some of the best that Dragon Ball has been since like the Cell games, in my opinion. I think the Tournament of Power is fantastic. I think it's the saving grace. If there was no Tournament of Power and the anime would have just ended on like, what would it have ended on? Future Trunks? like Goku Black, I guess it would end can't remember what came after Goku Black. Was it straight into Tournament of Power? Either way, if that, it would have been this. It, it would have been off the screen. Um, but with that, I think it's B. I think, I think Dragon Ball is a B-tier anime. There you go. I said it. Please do not destroy me. Please. Oh, please. Okay. So, <laughs> we've done a lot of B-tiers. We've done a, uh, easy S-tier. Haiku. Haiku Easy S tier. For a sports shonen anime, I have not read the manga. I've watched just the anime. It does it so well. For that genre of anime, I can't think of another sports anime that has done what Haiku has done. Like, Kuroko's Basketball is good. Uh, I can't wait for Slam Dunk to come out. But nothing got me as hyped which is what shonen is supposed to do. The the genre is supposed to hype you up. Like that's the whole point of the genre in my opinion. I love every single character in Haiku. I think they're all super well written and well done. Even characters that I didn't like in the beginning, I I became like, "Oh, they're awesome." I think Hinata is is a great character. I think I think Hinata and Kageyama, I think their relationship is really good. And I just think that if we're talking shonen anime, I think those characters grow and evolve more than more than some. And they're written better than most, in my opinion. I love Haiku. I, I just do. I, I think it's a great anime. If you haven't checked it out, you should definitely check it out. Another one that I think is at the top of its game, maybe not S tier, A tier for sure, like high A tier, uh, Chainsaw Man. If you're reading shonen manga, you're reading Chainsaw Man. I, I like, I feel that. Like I just, it's just one of those that I think it's doing what it's supposed to be doing and it's doing it at, at a top level. I think MAPPA with the anime could easily make this franchise or series an S tier easily easily if they knock it out of the park it'll be an S tier another one that MAPPA has made an S tier no question Jujutsu Kaisen I mean come on it's the best anime of last season easily the best anime of last season Gojo have you seen his eyes they're dreamy you get lost in them it's a blue sea that I, I just want to get lost in. 
<laughs> um, but no, I just I, I think it's it's doing everything a shonen should do, and I think it's doing it at the top of its game. Uh, I really want to check out the movie Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. I really want to finish my collection. I think I'm missing volumes like zero, three, and four. Other than that, I'm current. So yeah, I, I think it's fun. I think, again, the world that it's creating. It's the Yu Yu Hakusho of its time. I, tr I truthfully believe that. One that I just have not watched enough of. I think I'm like just past where Killua, you know, does the thing with the with the heart and the shirt, you know. You know, so I'm not far in it at all, um, but I can respect it, you know. A tier. I've heard nothing but great things and the stuff that I have watched, I makes me want to watch more. I just haven't had time to do it. So I'm going to put it in a. It might be S. But from what I've seen, it's not like anything has been like, oh, it's blown me away. But it has been good, and, and I can see it ramping up even more. Especially when I've only watched like 30 or something episodes. Full Metal Alchemist. Same thing. I have read three of the Full Metal editions. I think I'm on volume four. Uh, something just happened where... A man was in a phone booth and did not make it out of that phone booth. If you know, you know. I think the brothers are fantastic. I think their relationship is great. I just haven't read enough to to be in the camp of this is the best thing that has ever existed. Because, I mean, it's on the... There's a reason that it is on the top of all of the top 100 animes of all time list. There's a reason. I feel like I haven't gotten to that reason yet, but I feel like I'm close. So I'm not going to fake put it in like, oh, it's it's S tier because it's on the top. I just haven't gotten there. But from what I've read, I would actually put it above Hunter Hunter. I th I think it I think it. I know this is a shocking thing to say. I think it has the ability to be a very very good anime and manga. I just haven't gotten there yet. My Hero Academia. Oh, this is going to be a rough one. <sighs> I know what I did. Okay, I know what I did. Here's the thing about My Hero Academia. I have watched four seasons of the anime. I haven't watched the newest season yet. Because the fourth season rubbed me so wrong. The first two seasons got me back into anime. It was the anime that people introduced me to because, again, I was just like everybody else. I was like, you know, I haven't watched anime since I was a kid, but I'm really liking this, this Marvel, these, these Marvel comic books. My Hero Academia is the perfect anime to be like, here, welcome back or welcome to the world of anime. It is perfect for that. The problem with most, I think, gateway anime is when you really get into the anime manga world, you realize it's a gateway for a reason because it, it's it's easy for people to watch it and it and it hits the most common denominator. It's really tough for I think manga and anime that reach for the biggest common denominator to be great. And on top of that, season four to me with like the band and <sighs> season four was weak. Like it was bad. The stain arc was great. The tournament festival, like I think that was season two, was awesome. The first season was great. World and quirks and all of that, fantastic. I just think for me, it's 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 rapidly declining. But maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe like you're like, oh no, I man, manga, check it out, or like the fifth season of the anime, excellent. And let's talk about it in the comment. I'm not. I would love to know that my hero gets amazing again but for me season three and season four just declined so much that that not that i've written it off and i do want to go back and watch it but it wasn't like i was with one and two where i was like i'm gonna binge watch all these episodes i'm gonna watch it the week that it comes out like i'm there day one 
for Hero Academia. I feel like I'm going to make a lot of people mad with this video. Maybe I shouldn't release it. <laughs> no. Uh, another one. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to rip the bandaid off. Another one that I think really declined. I have not watched the entertainment arc. You know which one I'm going for. I think I think Demon Slayer is C tier anime. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, I'm kidding. I I uh I think I think it's B tier. It's not C tier for sure. It's not. It, the first season of Demon Slayer is great. I think the animation cannot be touched. Mugen Train rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't love it like everybody else. But I think what happened with Mugen Train is it was hyped up to me so much by the time I saw it. Because I saw it like two years, I feel like, after everybody else saw it. You know, or a year after everybody else saw it. And you know what happens with that? People are like, this is this is the best thing you've ever seen. That's, that's why I'm so scared about Attack on Titan. Because all you hear is like, this is the greatest thing ever. And when I'm late coming to the party, I've already heard about this party being like the greatest thing in the world. And then when I get there, I'm like, yeah, it's great. But like, it's not changing my life great. And that's what happened with Mugen Train. Uh, in turn, it didn't make me chomp at the bit to watch the next season. But I keep hearing from uh, a buddy of mine that the Entertainment District arc is, is great. And the animation is all... The animation makes it B-tier. Like, that animation is... Nice. Like, really, really good. It's really good. So, yeah, I just figured I'd rip those band-aids off real quick. Again, please don't hate me. Easy S-tier, Jojo. Easy. I'm not, I, do I have to explain it? Uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is... It revels in shonen anime, and it revels in how crazy and kind of dumb, but it sells that dumb in a way that you don't think is possible, but yet it's very possible because it does it. And part one is is slow, very, very, very slow. There's, there's two or three good moments. Part two is introduced to Joseph, great character, again, not fantastic. You get to the stands in part three. It changes the game. And it makes it... It makes it into... An anime... That is unlike anything... That has been... And is currently going on. Not only that... It's, it's internet memed to death. The music is awesome... The characters are unlike any characters in any anime. There's You cannot say any of those characters are cookie-cutter copies of any other characters. They are JoJo characters. And it's so... It's such an individual in the anime atmosphere that I know you might not think that. You're like, what are you talking about? That's just because it's been memed to death on the internet. But if you take that away and you take that you've heard, you know, Dio's theme... A million times and you just go at it never seeing any of that and just going at it as an anime it's unlike anything that is or has been before jojo goes to the top of us too i i i really believe that and it does have we part one is weak part five to me is weak uh part six is great part three is great part two is pretty good and part four is pretty good I want to be caught up in the manga. I, I am trying to figure out a way to to be able to consume that here in America because they're only on part five, volume three. So, but yeah, I could go on and on about JoJo's and I'm not going to because I understand it's not everybody's cup of tea and I'm not here to convert you to JoJo. I would never do that. You should watch JoJo's though. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just one of those people and you call me whatever you want, hop on the hype train or whatever. I, I've never experienced anything like it. And it's, I, I just, I know I just talked about how people do that with Attack on Titan 
and like Moog and Train and stuff, and I'm doing it with JoJo's, and I feel real bad about it, but it really isn't like a. It got me. They got me. The Joe Stars got me. There's nothing I could do. <laughs> Parasite. I'm going to preface this. I've only read two of the manga volumes. I think it's C tier. I can't speak to the anime. I haven't watched it. I've heard the anime is great. For me, the manga, it's just such a slow start. And maybe, like by the end of it, I'll be like, oh, I'll watch this video in the future and be like, what an idiot. You don't understand. And maybe, I hope so. I want to like it because I hear great things about it. But it's... Right now, in two volumes, it's C-tier to me. Psychic K, A-tier. Psychic K, A-tier. It might not be considered a shonen anime. I think it is, because he has, like, special powers. It's comedy shown in anime, and it is some of the best. The jo If you watch a bunch of anime, you get the jokes that it does. I'm not saying it should be your first anime, but after you watch, like, six or seven... Watch Psyche K, and I think it pokes fun at the right stuff in anime. And it does it so, so, so well. It's legitimately funny, and he does have powers. And I consider it a shonen anime. And it's it's really funny, really great. Black Clover, A tier. A tier as well, like, uh, B tier? Oh, like, hmm. I was so confident when I said A tier, too. Now I'm really thinking about it. The reincarnation elf arc was not great <laughs> to me. But it ends so strong, and I think it begins very strong. Asta is kind of an annoying main character like Naruto. But I think he grows, and I think he becomes a great character. I just think the Black Bulls are so good, and they all each have their little character arcs that make them good. I think Yami's great. Charmy's good. Oh, what if I blew your mind to that? No, uh... B, uh, B. I think 50% of it is S, and I think 50% of it is D. So B, we average them out. We average here. But yeah, I, I can't wait. I think they're making a movie. I hope the anime comes back too. Like, and I really want to read the manga. I just haven't uh, done the dive and, you know, bought 30 volumes because <laughs> I have none of the manga. But I, I love Black Clover, the anime. Mostly. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is D-tier. I think the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! I was a child. And it wanted to sell me on the trading card game. <laughs> uh, I just think I put it in the same realm as Pokemon. I think that for what it is, which is a merchandise kind of thing. Even though I have heard like the manga of Yu-Gi-Oh! Is, is completely different than... like. The four kids anime. So maybe I'll check it out one day and be like, oh no, Yu-Gi-Oh! Blows your mind. Um, but anime-wise, which is the only thing I can speak of, and I can only speak up until like Dungeon Dice Monsters when they did that. I just... It was never super my thing. Uh, Dark Magician is cool. Summon's Skull is also cool. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, cool. But I would never go back and watch it. That's how I look at it. Man, we got nothing but bangers at... We have nothing but top tier. Like, it's about to be all S, huh? Oh, no. Uh, Finland Saga, A. I think the animation is killer. The story it tells in the first season is so good. I think it has a season two I haven't checked out yet, but as, having read the manga, it's very different than season one, I'm sure. Uh, so I'm wondering how they do that and how well they do it. But yeah, I, I like the characters. I like the world. Finland Saga is great. I hope a lot of people watched it on Amazon. I, I, it's great. Death Note, easy S tier. Uh, manga or anime, wherever you want to go. Death Note is great. It's one of the, it's the first manga I ever read. So... Say what you will, <laughs> maybe maybe that that like skews it in a weird way, but 
It was the first anime and manga where I saw that they could tell super adult stories. And like, as I think I was a teenager when I picked it up, like 13, as a 13 year old, I was like, oh, this is edgy. This is dark and edgy. Love it. So yeah, I mean, it's Death Note and it's great. It's S, it's S, easy S. Another easy S, Cowboy Bebop. I kind of left these because, like, I mean, it's Cowboy Bebop, uh, not the live action. Good God, not the live action. Um, but, yeah, it's it's one of the only animes with its own style, its own, like, vibe to it. And, it, again, there's a reason that it is. I've watched the anime all the way through multiple, multiple times. There's a reason that Spike and Jet and all them. I mean, it's on the top of everyone's anime list. Like, there's a reason. It's not just hype and it's not... It might not be your thing. I don't know how Space Cowboys can not be your thing. But it might not be your thing. It would be hard for me to think of another anime that will have the same style as that anime. And the same feel with the music and everything that that anime had at the time that it had. It was so ahead of its time. And... That's why, like, really nobody should touch it, and it's its its own thing, and it lives on its own, and, and it's good on its own, and it still holds... I literally just watched all of it maybe four months ago, and it's still great. So, yeah, Cowboy Bebop. We're here. Final two. Final two. Naruto A tier. I think out of all the big three, Naruto has, and I and I would actually say this, high A tier. Out of the big three, I don't think there is another one that has the story and builds the world and has the characters that Naruto has. And for it to convert a very annoying character from the beginning and make him wise towards the end of it again I haven't finished it all the way and I'm sure in Baruto I know he's there as Hokage like I know that I just think it for that time and for that level of success that Naruto made there was not an anime talking about the themes that Naruto was trying to talk about so I I and ninjas are just cool, man. Like, the uh, ninjutsus and stuff. It's just so cool. Rock Lee is great. Yeah, I really like Naruto. I need to finish it. I might do more videos on Naruto. What do you guys think about that? Now that I'm really thinking about it, I would love to go in depth on Naruto. I, I think there's a lot to talk about there. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to talk about Naruto more. Because I definitely could see some videos talking in depth about Naruto I think that'd be fun and I would really like to dive deep into that world and kind of the themes that Naruto does that I think it does super super well okay so there's a reason I left this for last One Piece <laughs> no uh? C tier B tier A tier Come on, dude. It's an it's an easy. Easy. Listen, I'm not gonna let this tier list video devolve into me talking about One Piece. I there's a playlist on my channel of me reading through One Piece. There's a bunch of videos. I trust me, there's no there's no shortage of videos about One Piece on this channel. So please go check out any of those if you're interested about like some deep thoughts that I have on it. I will say no manga. And I do want to watch the anime, like I say in all my videos, and I will one day. No manga has gotten to me the way One Piece has. No manga has made me think about it when I'm not reading it more than One Piece has. No manga has the scope and the density of the story it's trying to tell like One Piece has. No manga has the characters that One Piece has. No manga can do all of the genres like one piece can i mean listen i'm a fan i 
And I didn't, and that's the crazy part because it was one of those that had already been hyped up as One Piece and I still read it and it still became just as hyped to me. So that just speaks to how well Oda does stuff. And like I said, I can go into all of that, but trust me, there's going to be way, way, way more videos about One Piece on this channel in the future. So I will just leave it as One Piece is One Piece. And there will never and has never been a manga or anime like One Piece. Point blank period. All right. We did it. Hopefully you stuck through and did not click off when I rated uh, anime lower or higher than you think it deserved. I, I really, I'm just glad. Hey, I just like anime and manga. Let's just talk about it. Like, <laughs> please don't hate me. Um, but yeah, this was super fun to actually like go back and think about some animes that I haven't thought about in a while and some that I'm like, Oh, I should watch more of that. I bet it, I bet it gets amazing, you know? Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and as always, if you have watched the end of this video, I super, super appreciate you and, uh, let me know some of your favorite animes and what you thought of this list down in the comments. I always like talking to you guys, as you know, and, uh, yeah, until next time.